Leslie from Leslie Cooks and we're here with the Gleaner today making a Valentine's Day meal for you and your love. Our budget is $5,000 so let's get cooking. So today we're making a crostini with a tomato salsa and caramelized onion. So it's going to be topped with caramelized onion so let's cut our bread. No, I want to cut my tomatoes first. We're going to give it a rough chop. I have my tomato, garlic and cilantro, so now I'm going to season it with some black pepper salt and a little bit of onion powder and then I'm going to set it aside. I have my onion for my caramelized onion, I'm going to slice it and then I'm going to caramelize it, cut my bread and then assemble everything. Add that in there. I'm gonna give it a good stir. So normally, to caramelize onions, you can just leave it in the pot on a low, very, very low flame. But so I like to caramelize my onions by adding the secret ingredient of brown sugar. So not only does this quicken the whole caramelization process but it gives it a sweeter note rather than just leaving it in a pot to caramelize on its own. And that's my favorite way of caramelized onions. So you're just gonna leave it there and the sugar and everything is gonna dissolve and it's gonna be so scrumbly yum -shus. slice my baguettes, toast them, and then assemble everything. So this only has one more minute to go and then everything is ready. A crostini is a toasted baguette. So we're gonna slice up our baguette right here and normally they'll toast it with olive oil or if you have some butter. Appetizer. It's our crostini with a tomato salsa and a caramelized onion and I'm so excited to try this but we have to move on to our main course now. On to the main course I'll be making a creamy tomato pasta topped with pan seared chicken. Let's get cooking. So I'm going to take my chicken to wash. I'll be right back. We have our chicken. We're just going to slice it thinner so it cooks quickly. So butterfly just means especially for a chicken breast you what people butterfly. So you know like when you open it like that, that's a butterfly. So you cut it lengthwise and it cuts the chicken breast in two and it's thinner. So it's quicker to cook and more evenly cooked. We have our seasoning. We're gonna season our chicken breast. butter let that melt 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 scissor scissor scissor
if your pasta is al dente without tasting it, you just throw it at the fridge and if it sticks, it's ready. Now to make our creamy tomato sauce, we're going to add butter. Now we add our tomato paste. And we just want that to brown a little bit, caramelize, get that flavor deep in there. So just let it sit for one to two minutes. We have our half and half, which is half milk, half cream. with our pan seared chicken and I'm so excited but we have one more to do or a dessert and then we can eat everything. On to everybody's favorite part, sweet treats. We have a dessert we're making microwave molten brownie with vanilla fudge ice cream. I'm so excited this is also my favorite part. To make this easier obviously you could be from scratch but we're just gonna use a packet. It's still gonna be great. So you're gonna dump everything in there and then you're gonna follow the instructions on the back. Milk. Just gonna pour all of that in there. And butter. Then we're gonna give it a good mix, mix, mix. of chocolate in the middle so that when you scoop that scoop you're gonna get let's put two pieces I'm just gonna push it down there we go now we're gonna put it in our microwave We have our crostini with a tomato salsa and our caramelized onion. Ready? Ready? Let me make sure I get all of that onion in there. I want to taste everything. Mm. The freshness of the tomatoes is just bursting with flavor, the garlic and the cilantro, and then the caramelized onion just give it that sweet note. This is to me, this is perfect. I would finish all of this. Onto the pasta. I want a bite of everything, so let's get our chicken. Our pasta. Mmm. Mm. This is so good. I'm so in love with this meal. It's gonna be so hard for me to share it with my love. It's so good. I love the creamy tomato, like the cream plus the tomato is just so elegant. And then you have the chicken, the juicy chicken. Let me show you. Juicy chicken. It's so good and the combination of everything. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My dessert's ready. Let's go check it out. 
here we have our microwave molten brownie with our vanilla fudge ice cream. Can you tell I'm excited? So let's dig in. Let's see if we can get that moldiness with the ice cream. I just want to get everything. Okay, look at that bite. See the chocolate? That's the chocolate moldiness. Oh my gosh. That is so good. I'm going to make all my brownies like this as of today. So share this with your love. I know it's going to be hard because it's so good, but you have to. And I hope you do. You too can create this meal for just $5,000. I'm Leslie from Leslie Cooks with The Gleaner. Happy Valentine's Day from my kitchen to yours.